Welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at how much energy it takes or how much work it takes to set up an arrangement of charges given their distances and their charge magnitudes and, uh, and signs. Uh, so this uh, learning target is phrased in two different ways but it's the same number regardless. So how much electrostatic potential energy is stored in a system, is stored in some arrangement of charges, or how much energy, how much work it would take to establish that charge system. So to take a set of charges from very distant points and bring them together in some arrangement that's established. We have this equation for the, uh, uh, the electrostatic potential energy, um, but this is just for a single pair of charges. So for any pair, we can figure out the electrostatic potential energy. So if we have multiple um, objects, multiple charges, more than just two, we just need to add together the uh, electric potential energy for each pair of objects. So in this setup, we've got three objects. That amounts to three different pairs the pair of 1 and 2, the pair of 2 and 3, and the pair of 1 and 3. So we just need to add together the three elastic potential energies associated with each pair. So we'll simply calculate each one of those and then add those values together. So the elastic potential energy between 1 and 2, that's going to be equal to that 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. That's 9 times 10 to the negative ninth. Newton coulomb squared per meter squared. Uh, oops, meter squared per coulomb squared. Get, get the units right there. And then times, we've got negative 4.0 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs times positive 1.0 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs divided by 0.5 squared. And on that one we get a negative 1.4, well, better make this fast, negative 1.4 times 10 to the negative 7th joules for the electric potential energy from 2 to 3. We still have that 9 times 10 to the negative 9th Newton meters squared per coulomb squared times, this time it's uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs and a negative 2.0 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. Again, divided by 0.5 meters. And this one gives us a value of negative 7.2 times 10 to the negative eighth. Joules. And then the last one, the electric potential energy from 3 and 1. It's going to be 9 times 10 to the negative ninth. Newton meters squared per coulomb squared times, let's see, 1 and 3, so we've got a negative 4.0 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs and a negative 2.0 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs divided by 0.5 meters squared. And this one gives us a positive 2.88 times 10 to the negative seventh joules. So the overall electric potential energy is just going to be these three values added together, which gives us 7.2. Uh, let's see, double check that. Yep, 7.2 times 10 to the negative A joules. So that's how much energy is stored in that system. That's also how much work we would have to do to create that system initially.